So we've talked about Kara Eastman before in the program. She recently won her primary in Nebraska's second congressional district. I brought her on the program. She's a phenomenal candidate. But ever since she won her primary, her Republican opponent has been trying to frame her as this kooky, like radical socialist. And he's making a fool of himself. He literally retweeted someone who shared an image of Kara Eastman. Uh, which basically proclaims her to be uh, far left. And in that same image includes Bernie Sanders, AOC, and Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> because Nancy Pelosi is definitely associated with the far left. So, I mean, there's no nuance. There is really no uh, curiosity here to try to figure out what the far left is. I mean, this is just it's shallow, hacky attacks. And he doesn't really care, right? Don Bacon, her opponent knows that his supporters will eat it up but it's become a meme at this point it's 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 stupid right you have no substantive arguments that you can make against your opponent because she's better than you on every single policy issue so all you can do is fear monger about the far left and he does it so much that her team decided to respond in i think a perfect way so she tweeted this out. Friends, we have a very important announcement today. We are launching a collaborative internet game that all of us can play together. This game is called Bacon Bingo. Here's some backstory and the rules of the game. In my run for Congress, I'm running against a huge Trump fan named Don J. Bacon. Predictably, he and the local Republican Party called me a socialist and a radical extremist and just about any combination of 1950s Joseph McCarthy word salad fear mongering you can think of. This has never bothered bothered us, but because they do it in literally every tweet, we created a fun game so we can all play along. Here's how we play. If the accounts Don J. Bacon, DCRP Online, or NEGOP use any of the following words and phrases, cross them off on your Bacon Bingo card. When we get a Bacon Bingo, we will have a massive online party. Okay, I think we're all set. Game on. Okay, so let's take a look at Bacon Bingo, the generic smear edition. Um, okay, so the first thing I love is that in the middle, instead of ju there just being like a free space, she includes free stuff. <laughs> so that's a brilliant move. But um, I mean, all of these things are what Republicans have called far leftists. Um, so we have Comrade Kara, Bankrupt the Government, George Soros, Big Government, Socialist, Socialism, Leftist, Handouts, Radical, Communist, Antifa, Extreme, Rioters, Squad, Government Takeover, Extremist, Un-American, Anarchist, Socialized Healthcare, AOC of Nebraska, that's a good one, Agenda, Venezuela, Infanticide, and Coastal Elite. Okay, to Kara and her team. You get the slow clap. You get the slow clap for that. That is A plus trolling. And that's exactly what you have to do because it's so stupid. It's so idiotic. It's so hollow that you can't really respond to that unless you're making fun of it, right? So the way that you kind of defang their arguments and you let them know that you couldn't care less is by memeing them. Make fun of what they're saying. Because this really is the playbook of Republicans when it comes to progressives. They don't necessarily know how to respond to progressives because progressives are glued to the policy substance. I mean, we talk about healthcare, Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, you know, intelligent ways to respond to climate change, you know, a living wage, housing. These are all things that Americans want to hear about because these are issues that affect them directly. When you just casually throw around, you know, radical or communist, you look like a fool because, first of all, you don't know what that means. You don't know what socialist means. You don't know what communist means. And you're banking on your supporters also being ignorant. But when she makes fun of him like this, that is such a powerful way to kind of show what a parody the GOP is, what a joke they've become. They have nothing. You have Donald Trump all the time, you know, denouncing the quote unquote radical left as his party lurches closer and clo closer towards fascism. You had Matt Gates literally suggest that we should hunt down Antifa, like we do the terrorists in the Middle East. So they're advocating for the extrajudicial murder of Americans. Meanwhile, they're denouncing the radical left. No, you're the radicals. And you know, what's interesting is that as they cry louder and louder about the radical left, left-wing ideas become more popular, not just among 
left-wing people or the American people, but even Republicans. I mean, polls are starting to show that if not, you know, an outright majority of Republicans, a plurality of Republicans support Medicare for all. Because guess what? It's a common sense solution to a healthcare crisis that we've been dealing with, that people are dealing with, even Republicans. Like, everyone wants healthcare. It's not just a left-wing thing to want. Republicans need healthcare, too. Republicans need education. They really do. Uh, Republicans need food. Republicans need housing. So, you know, you're appealing to a very specific crowd in trying to claim that uh, Kara is uh, trying to turn us into Venezuela, which is a hilariously stupid smear. No, she's actually speaking to the specific needs of people in Nebraska. She's talking to people. This is a grassroots candidate who won her primary because she is addressing the specific concerns of the people of Nebraska. So for you to make a fool out of yourself, there's nothing that Kara can do but meme him. So, I mean, this really is A plus trolling here. Uh, this is what progressive campaigns have to do to respond to Republicans because they're such a joke. You can't take them seriously. You can't try to like articulate some kind of response that's meaningful or substantive to someone who yells Venezuela at you. You just have to make fun of them because it's stupid. And that's how you respond to stupidity. You troll them, you make memes out of it, you make fun of them.